sales were $15.5 billion, reflecting highest growth in over a decade cash flow forecast lowered on impact of exchange rates, Russia International Business Machines Corp. Reported sales that topped analysts' estimates, signaling that demand for mainframe computers, consulting and cloud services remains strong amid concerns of a pullback in tech spending. Sales rose 9% to $15.5 billion in the second quarter, the company said Monday in a statement. Analysts were expecting an average of $15.2 billion according to data compiled by Bloomberg. The company lowered its full-year free cash flow estimate to $10 billion from an earlier range of $10 billion to $10.5 billion. The reduced cash flow forecast is due to the strength of the dollar and the loss of IBM's highly profitable Russia business, rather than a broader business slowdown. Chief Financial Officer Jim Cavanaugh said in an interview, Our demand remains solid, he said. The shares closed down 1.3% at $138.13 in New York and were little changed in extended trading. IBM has been a rare pocket of stability in the tech market meltdown, gaining 3.3% this year compared with a 31% loss for the iShares expanded tech sector ETF. Chief Executive Officer Arvind Krishna's goal has been to pivot Big Blue from its traditional business of infrastructure and information technology services to the fast-growing cloud computing market. Acquisitions have been a major part of the strategy, with IBM buying more than 25 companies under Krishna's tenure, largely focused on bolstering the company's hybrid cloud offerings. Hybrid cloud revenue jumped 18% to $5.9 billion in the quarter. Software unit revenue increased 6.4% to $6.2 billion, missing estimates. Consulting sales gained 10% to $4.8 billion, beating estimates. We continue to expect full-year revenue growth at the high end of our mid-single-digit model, Krishna said Monday in the statement. Red Hat sales increased 12%, the slowest rate since it was acquired in 2019. The division has been a key part of Krishna's turnaround strategy, and typically posts growth closer to 20%. Last week, IBM named Matt Hicks as the new head of IS the segment, promising little change in strategy. The growth dip is due to currency and there's no material slowdown in the unit which grew 17% at constant currency, Kavanaugh said. Owing to the release of a new mainframe, the fastest-growing segment in the second quarter was infrastructure, which jumped 19% to $4.2 billion. Despite pivoting away from on-premise offerings, the company remains one of the biggest makers of mainframe computers which have long served as a foundation of a business's most important applications. In November, IBM spun off a large portion of its legacy infrastructure services unit into a new company called Kindrill Holdings Inc. Sales to Kindrill continue to make up a significant portion of IBM's revenue. Tech peers that have significant overseas exposure including Oracle Corp., Salesforce Inc., and Microsoft Corp. have seen growth curtailed by a surging U.S. dollar. IBM, with about half of its sales outside the Americas, said current exchange rates will weigh on the full-year forecast by 6 percentage points, up from a 3-4 to four point estimate in April. Currency weighed on second-quarter growth by 7 percentage points, the company said. Earnings excluding some costs were $2.31 a share, 2 cents higher than the average analyst estimate. Gross margin was 53.4%, beating the 52.9% analysts expected. Free cash flow was $3.3 billion, beating estimates for $2.46 billion.